Hi, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I normally don't cover earthquakes that happen in Greece because they have so many of them. There was a earthquake in western Greece, a magnitude 4.8 near Kalinsendra. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. And there's been a few aftershocks. USGS isn't reporting them. Uh, magnitude 2.0s and 2.3. I have drawn out uh, this one area, which is highly seismically active, part of the uh, Gulf of Corinth Rift Zone. The reason I'm covering this is any earthquake can be a foreshock for something much larger. And up over here, drawn out in red, is the Alike Fault. Back in 30, uh, 337 BC, uh, with a tsunami, several tsunamis, that devastated the uh, coastline of Greece here, um, submerged, yeah, uh, submerged many of the towns. Also in 1861, there was a 6.7 over here, um, and it also created a tsunami. I believe there was like five tsunamis um, that were recorded of two meters. It would be a 6.5 um, tsunami. Let me go back over here to this 4.8. The reason this area is so seismically active, we got the African plate that is subducting under the Eurasian plate. Yeah, let me bring it out. I don't know if you can see it. With all my little notes, all the different earthquakes. Yeah, um, there was also in uh, 426 BC a 7.1 with a tsunami. And this is the area here where the African plate is subducting underneath the Eurasian plate, making it highly um, active. This fault line isn't really that long to create such a large earthquake. Um, back when the earthquake occurred in uh, 337 BC, um, you know, they were worshiping different gods and stuff, and they thought it was because Poseidon got mad because of something that happened in his temple um that was a no-no but large earthquakes in this area they really don't know how often they happen but there is a history of uh, large and devastating earthquakes and i just got the gumption to report about this magnitude 4.8 because it could trigger a bigger event sometime in the future yeah it, it was just light damage that was reportedly um, caused and uh, yeah, no injuries that I could find. Thank God for that. The Gulf of Corinth, the rift zone, is one of Europe's most active seismic regions. There is rifting going on in this location, and because of the rifting, which means spreading, uh, yeah, the area is capable of having a magnitude seven earthquake. I hope people are prepared. The Observatory of Athens has documented over 3,850, 15, excuse me, 15 fault traces in that uh, location. And there are 892 active faults. Over 2,000 of the faults of the 3,815 um, are considered capable of generating significant earthquakes. And that would be in the western Greece area. The key fault would be the Corneth Gulf system with historic surface ruptures linked to events like the 1861 um, 6.8. Um, I got uh, 6.7, but um, they say it was a 6.8. Eyewitness accounts described this recent earthquake as a brief rumble lasting 5 to 10 seconds with some residents mistaking it for a, a passing heavy vehicle or road work. Here are some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC. There was a lot of them. Um, rumbling, then the house shook. Uh, quite noticeable. Let's see, quite strong. And relative durable. They give their location, I guess, and they said here it was strong. Um... A good shaker, I suppose. Very strong with two parts. After some seconds, another one. Let's see. That one's not translating. 
uh, quite powerful, long-lasting. Another report says, fortunately, the rift tile stayed in place. The epicenter was in the village, and it gives two different names. I thought this one was interesting because other earthquakes have, well, people have reported hearing a hum. A very loud hum preceded the earthquake. Moderate intensity, the feeling. And then uh, strong with great help before the shaking starts. Most of these reports come from Patra. Quite strong, shook strongly, horizontal oscillation. Another one reporting oscillating. Um, it's like having two parts. The first strong and the second is weaker. Lasted around 10 to 15 seconds. Shaking glassware at home and horizontal osculation. In Mercia, which is 68 kilometers or about 42 miles, they said that they were on the upper floor of a two-story building. Loud, prolonged wail or wall um, was initially heard. And after a few seconds of vibration followed, sufficiently noticed for about 10 seconds. Yeah, whale. Prolonged whale. There in Kalamata, which was 110 kilometers south, or 68 miles, they said it was very strong and long-lasting. Also here on EMSC, they have the shake map. I'm going to try and bring this down for you. Yeah. Um, Looks like mostly intensity level 4 and maybe slightly higher to intensity level 5. Altogether, there was 97 reports that were sent into EMSC. And that's it right there. I'll try and light it up for you. You know, Greece does experience between 1,000 to 2,000 earthquakes every year. Um, but the Corneth area, area averages... Uh, two to five events, maybe ab above a magnitude four per year. So if you felt this earthquake and if you had any damage, let me know. Like I said, this area does have a history. It's been a long time um, since there's been a very large earthquake. Um, I hope people are prepared. I imagine you are um, having so much damage. Make sure that you do not get into a doorway if there's an earthquake. Uh, doorways are not an area that would help prevent the structure from collapsing. And, you know, you could lose a hand, um, break your hand, lose fingers from the door swing. But I would like to know if you felt this earthquake. How long did it last? How did your pets react? And what kind of damage did you have? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.